Oh my god, hi everyone, welcome back. So I'm finally back to filming. As you guys know, I have been through exams and I haven't been uploading, which, you know, since I started my channel, like I haven't not uploaded ever. So this was the first time. I'm in second year uni. I thought let me just prioritize because it's important and I was struggling, like I had to do a lot of work, a lot. But yeah, I've decided to post a video every single day this week just to kind of, you know, get back on track. Make up for the videos that I missed on. I have so many planned and I feel like that's why I want to do this as well. And you guys have been saying that you really want to see videos from me and that makes me so happy. So yeah, today's going to be a quick video because I'm actually going to work today. I literally haven't had a break yet because since I've st since my last exam I've been working like non-stop so I've worked four days in a row now or well, this is my fourth day so I woke up extra early just to film this video for you guys so it can go up tonight. I don't know why I feel so I don't know why I sound so groggy like I feel weird talking to the camera again um but yeah thank you guys so much for being so patient with me and understanding and all the good luck and well wishes you gave me for like my exams oh my god i appreciate it so much let me stop getting all mushy on you guys and let's just jump straight into this video so today's video is going to be all about the vamp stamp i actually bought this when i started my exams and i didn't have time to film it so i thought let me do it today because i don't know my mum my mum is obsessed with like little mini videos on Facebook and she always sends me these little mini videos and I saw someone use this um, Vava Voom eyeliner stamp and I tried to get it from the US but they didn't ship here and then I saw it on Cult Beauty and I was just like let me just try this out some of you do tell me that you kind of struggle with wing liner and things like that so if this actually works that would be so so good the only thing is it was like £22 and I thought there were going to be product in here but it's just the stamp like literally just the stamp that is £22 which is a bit pricey in my opinion you could literally just get I don't know, like a sponge from Asda or something and then cut it up in an eyeliner shape and just stamp it on, you know. So you have two sizes, I believe there's a small and a large. I got the large, there is one size below. And I thought, let me get the large one because I do have kind of big eyes and I think it would suit me. And I thought, if I want to do a video on this, let me just go, go all out and do the big one. Um, so this is what it looks like. This is the before and after. So we'll see. It does say that you need to line your eye first. I don't know if I should line the eye first or do the wing first and then do the line. I think I'm going to do the other way. I, feel, I think I'll do both ways on both eyes, like on each eye. The only thing is I do have to say that it's very, very sturdy. This is what it looks like. So it comes with each end, like so. It does tell you in the back, left and right, so you don't get mixed up. So yeah, I was kind of shocked that it didn't come with any product for £22. What is this? Baby hair. Um, but I did bring my NYX Matte Liquid Liner with me. So let's try this, shall we? So I'm going to kind of colour it in. Like so. So let's do this. Okay, this is the right one, yeah. So to me that's a total fail. Attempt number two. I do not know what's going on with this. I'm trying to make this work. Okay, let me try the other eye. I'm gonna do, I'll do the line first. Because I've not been wearing makeup at all, I feel like I've forgotten how to do makeup. Okay, so that's the line. I'm gonna color in the other side. It's just way too big. I definitely think that's way too big. I mean that one's okay that one is okay because i could say like you can join the lineup i would say 
Let me try to do that. I feel like with that try, I pressed less less hard. I'm just gonna join it up. It's very Amy Winehouse type. I mean, that attempt was not bad. And it does look probably really big for my eyes, so you could go with the smaller one. I could go with, I could have gone for the smaller one. So I have taken it off. I'm gonna try it again. This time I'm doing the line first. I mean, it is relatively easy to clean up with makeup wipe. Okay, I have to give it that. I literally just pressed it. You definitely have to go in and it's not like it's gonna give you a perfect liner in like two seconds. It's definitely to help you like I would say guy to get a perfect win. Are they the same? I definitely now think that this is much better shaped. Okay, so I'm just gonna let this dry and do my mas I'm gonna do my mascara and be right back. Okay, so that is the finished wing liner. I do want to read out what it claims first. So the struggle for the perfect wing ends here. Conquer this compliment. Conquer this complicated makeup technique with minimal effort, perfect symmetry, perfect symmetry, and a huge dose of sexy sass. The patented stamp allows you for a smooth and perfect wing liner look that will immediately up your makeup cred. Use without Vink eyeliner ink or your favorite liquid or gel eyeliner. So, I would say that this is only to create the wing, obviously, because I had to do the line myself. Um, do I find that it's a bit complicated? I don't know. The thing with me is for eyeliner is that every eye has a different eyeliner shape and the fact that they just have this shape, like for example when I look straight it cuts, like let me get up close. If you can see like when I look straight it kind of cuts the liner and, and it looks thick on the lid so I don't know and I had to fix this one because it was going way too high up. I personally prefer to just do it free-handed like just myself. Um, would I recommend this to beginners? Maybe the smaller one. I wouldn't recommend the big one for anyone to be honest. Maybe if you've got even bigger eyes than me but the thing is is that I feel like it's just a standard shape. Not everyone's liner looks the same. Even though it does look, everyone does it according to their eye shape. So I feel like this beats the purpose. Like, not everyone has the same eyeliner shape, you know? And £22, like, I don't think it is worth it. I struggled. I, To be honest with you guys, I struggled. I had to fix this liner. It took me longer than I, it usually does. And I feel like if you just practice, practice, practice your liner at home, you'll be perfect at it. I feel like anyone can do eyeliner. And you don't even need to put pressure. Like, at first, I was really pressing. But all you have to do is literally just go like that that's it if you do really struggle with like positioning of your wing liner maybe this would be helpful but i seriously think that even if you did try it with this it would still create that cut because it's too big for my eye and i feel like if i did the small one it would have been too small for my eye you know not everyone this it's like sh sh foundation shades it's completely different but not there can't be two shades, you know? Everyone has a different eye shape, different creases, different hooded lids. For hooded eye, I would not recommend a shape at all. And I don't even think I would recommend the small one. So do I think it's worth it? No. Even if I did do the dab, the, the dab, <laughs> the stamp, I still had to go in and fix it all and really do it properly. And this one, I had to fix it completely. And I still think they're not even. And this one is so, like, long. It looks nice when I look down, but it's not what it's not what I would have done personally. So I think that's it really. I don't think it's worth it. What would I rate it? Maybe like a three out of ten. I don't don't think this is worth your money. Literally just get a sponge. If you want a stamp, just get a sponge, cut it into an eyeliner shape, and then you're good to go. I feel like most of these contraptions for makeup don't really work. Even tape, even tape would do a better job. 
I feel like. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. I missed you guys so much and it feels so good to be back. Let me know what videos you want to see below. I have really exciting videos. I've got my waxing video coming up, uh, lip swatches, a uh, clothing haul, which I never do, but I love doing them. But let me know if you still want to see like videos like this where I use weird stuff to do makeup. Let me know if you guys want to see more videos like this one. Uh, hit the thumbs up if you did like it and subscribe if you're new to my channel and I will see you in my next video which will be tomorrow. Bye.